Hello guys, this is Ty, aka The Flip Man. Closing instructions. How to set up your closings. Get this question a lot, obviously. Uh, it's very simple. A lot of this stuff is very, very simple to think, think through it, uh, but you can't go beyond what you don't know. Uh, but before I get into this great tip, hopefully it's helpful, but before I get into it, um, I put out promotion uh, yesterday, $97.00. I'll coach through one deal. It was going to take on five. That filled up faster than what I thought. Um, didn't know how many people would take advantage of it. I knew it was on a Saturday. So, um, so of course, I got more people wanting to uh, take advantage of it because the slots are filled. So, I'm leaving it open until midnight of this video. So, if you see it tomorrow, it'll probably be too late. Uh, so, you need to take advantage of it. Just take a few more. And um, we'll, I'll just deal with it. I'll make time for it. But uh, on with the actual tip. Um, how to set up your closings. Basically, this is at the point where you have a seller in place with a contract and you have a buyer in place with a contract. Obviously, the seller's contract, the price on it is less than the buyer. That's the difference in where you'll pick up your assignment fee. So now, uh, what you're going to do, whether you've dealt with this title company or closing attorney before or not, doesn't matter. You still always want to simplify things for them and let them know what you want and who gets paid what, who pays the closing. This document, which is a very simple form that you can fill out in Word, uh, each time you do it, you can just build a simple template for it and just fill in the blanks from there. So on with it. So the way I title it and what you can change, it doesn't matter. Uh, closing instructions. So you always want to have a date and time of the uh, closing. So, um, oh, before I go any farther, um, at the bottom of this video, you can see it get started at theflipman.com. You can call or text 205-492-3425. Back to the video. Uh, but the date and time may not be determined yet, so you may leave that blank uh, because you may be at the point where you didn't pull the title before you got a buyer, so that may need to still be done, so you can't actually say the date and time until... Um, that information is full and everything is ready to go and plus you have to still coordinate around the seller and the buyer depending if they're in town, out of town or whatever the situation is. So you may have to uh, do that on the fly in a lot of cases. All right, You always want to include the actual address of the property um, and that's the full address. The, the Obviously the, the actual physical location of the house, the zip code state uh, and the city along with the county that it's located in. That's important to a lot of title companies because they may deal with multiple counties. All right, you want to include the price of the property. The price is not the price that you negotiated with your buyer, but the price that you negotiated with your seller. And the reason that you do it that way is that you don't want to market an assignment fee to your buyers because you don't want them negotiating an assignment fee. You want them negotiating a price. And the reason you do that is that they don't know what you have the contract on uh, for with the seller. So that gives you a lot of flexibility and also allows you to maximize your profit potential on each transaction or each deal. All right, you want to include the, the name of the buyer, uh, whether that's an LLC or an actual person, you'll include that on the actual closing instructions document. The assignment fee. Now I'm using it in this, in this example, five thousand dollars paid to you, the wholesaler. Buyer has paid five hundred earnest money. So you just basically going to include that just to say that you know five hundred dollars earnest money has already been received, or they may even be holding the title company, or his or his attorney may be holding it uh, until further uh, notice. So you just want to make them aware that that has been paid. All right, closing cost. Now, in most cases, you want to try to get your buyer to pay it all, but sometimes they won't do that. They'll want you to split it. They'll want you to pay a portion of it. So that's why I put here, buy and or you, the wholesaler. So um, so that's important that uh, that's included on who's going to pay the closing and how much of it that they're going to pay. All right, if they have any questions or concerns, they want to be able to contact you, the wholesaler. So it's important. If you're using an actual title company that you're uh, going through the buyer on who they're familiar with, who they're comfortable with, and who they want to close with, you just need a contact person so you can be a, uh, sure that you can be able to call them to find out the status of or they can contact you if there are any issues or questions that need to be answered maybe on the seller side of the transaction. All right? 
it's really that simple when you have all this in place even if you've never closed with a particular title company before or close an attorney when you send this document over this will help them tremendously because it gives them a clear picture of how you want this transaction set up remember this is a cash transaction so flexibility is available when you're doing so if this was a lender out of the question in most cases maybe with a lot of whole hard money lenders this is possible but uh, mostly you want to deal with cash buy doesn't matter where they get it from it may be from a loan but when it gets to closing it's in cash it's not like the mortgage company has to approve the property appraisal all this stuff um, so it's really this simple as I said most of the stuff is pretty simple you think about it but if you don't know you can't go beyond what you don't know Again, you have an opportunity, obviously my 100 plus videos here on YouTube, just simply do a search on YouTube for Teach Me Flipping, all one word, you can take advantage of those, I encourage you to do so, you may not need me, I give away every, I give away everything through those videos, but if you do need a coach, you can get unlimited coaching from me at theflipman.com, as you can see here at the bottom, also as I said, I'm still offering the one, the coach me through one deal for $97, you can get that few hours from now with this video if you're seeing this tomorrow or later it's not available anymore so hopefully this has helped it clears up a lot of questions that people have asked even possible students uh, that have never seen in this format even though you have the same information uh, this explanation you can go back to rewind 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 just like any of the other videos that I have online thanks and I hope this helped you tremendously